everybody, this is Praxis and I'm here on site after having not been here for 48 hours. Things have just been really kind of chaotic with the coronavirus situation. I've had to be home a lot more to manage things back there uh, and uh, you know, I haven't been able to be here. Uh, I have been able to get in touch with the landscape people. They are still operating. They're going to be coming back to finish what we've got here. I would love right now have a great garden space out here. That's the whole point of having a little house of quarantine is so that you can use it while you're being quarantined. Uh, you know, unfortunately we're a little bit behind, but uh, I would love if the landscape people could get us going on a garden. We're gonna be uh, doing a garden back at our other place so that we've got something, but uh, it'd be great if we could have an extra one going over here. Uh, so they say that, uh, they said that they, they will be, you know, showing up for us at some point. We're kind of on their list at this point. Plumber, uh, they're supposed to show up in a few days, but I haven't heard back from them. And these just showed up. Uh, you guys saw the solar panels and things were there uh, the other day. And uh, today the lithium batteries showed up. Two of them, and they're really heavy. Um, it wouldn't be a big deal if it was me and someone else, but with the coronavirus situation, it's always just me here. Um, so I gotta figure out how to carry these. They're like 200 pounds each. Uh, and I can't leave them out here. Uh, the delivery person couldn't deliver, uh, you know, it, you know, it's kind of like not their thing to carry them inside and I get that. If they got injured or something, it'd be on them. But uh, yeah, I gotta get in here. I was gonna just kinda tap my way in and kinda open these up. I mean, these boxes themselves weigh something. So if I can just get the box out of the equation, it'll make it that much easier. Uh, also on the topic of electricity, uh, the electrical meter is back behind you. I've been monitoring that every day that I've come because, uh, you know, last couple months we had thousands and thousands and thousands of kilowatt hours on there. Uh, you know, the first month was 4,000 was 4, kilowatt hours of use, uh, which just didn't add up. Even if I w was running a dehumidifier and the heater in there 24-7, it wouldn't add up to, you know, the right amount, you know, for what we got billed for. Something was kind of screwy with that. Uh, and, and we weren't running them 24-7, you know, we were only doing them like, you know, a few hours a day here and there. Uh, so I've been monitoring it every time I come, and in the past month, instead of using 4,000, we've used seven. So I don't know, it seems like that was like a one or two time event. Every, every uh, morning when I do come here, I'm checking it to see, it's like, oh, overnight, suddenly we used like 4,000 kilowatt hours, and then I could report that to the electric company, but that hasn't happened. It's normal, we've used seven kilowatt hours. So, uh, that's what that is. There's no real answers other than the idea that, you know, yeah, something screwy was going on. Uh, I really wish I had another person to help me with this, though, because uh, this wouldn't, these, aren't really that big of a deal for two people, but for one person it's awkward, it's big, and it's it's pretty heavy. So uh, I guess I gotta get in here. Unfortunately it's just one battery per case, so removing the case it's not gonna make it that much easier. <sighs> Things are harder when you're working alone. Thanks for watching. <sighs> this is sort of how the people of the Rapa Nui Islands, Easter Island. One of the theories about how they moved their giant Moa statues. They rocked them. Still works.